Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today I will show you the half wave rectifier simulation in LT Spice. I will show you the input signal. Okay, I will show you the output signal. I will show you the voltage across diode D1 and I will explain how half wave rectifier works and I will also explain what is the peak repetitive reverse voltage and I will show you the PIV of this diode D1, right? So let us understand. So you can see this is source or input signal which is sinusoidal signal. So you have to go here and right click it here. So you can see the amplitude for your sine wave is 322 volt. Okay. So basically 322 volt is peak value, peak value and if you calculate the RMS value for 322 volt, you will get 230 volt AC, right? 230 volt sinusoidal signal. And the frequency for sine wave is 50 hertz. So here you can see we have 50 hertz and amplitude is 322 volt, right? So then we have diode D1, single diode I used here in the design. The part number for this diode is 1S R154-600. You may find the parameters for this diode. What is the average current? What is the PIV for this diode? And what is the forward voltage for this diode D1? Okay. Then we have a small load connected here. This is R1. The value for this R1 is 1K. Right. So uh, to run this simulation, you have to go simulate then you have to go here edit simulation command for here uh, i took stop time 300 millisecond right so the transient you have to go transient then stop time 300 millisecond click it ok now you have to go here at at run button click it here ok let me show you the input signal so this is the input signal you can see so the peak value for this input signal is 322 volt okay and so this is the positive peak and this is the negative peak here we have zeroth level okay now let me show you the the output voltage so yeah you can see this is the output voltage so so for the positive half cycle here we have a positive half cycle of your input signal let me add one plot pin and here in this window we have input signal let's say and in this window we have output signal right so you can see for the positive half cycle for the positive half cycle from here to here your diode is conducting and the same voltage appears at the output right and for negative half cycle for the negative half cycle since this diode is in reverse bias so this diode is ideally not conducting here so he, you have here zero volt so so the po positive half cycle your diode d1 conducts and becomes uh, forward bias and it allow the flow of current from source to load so so for the negative half cycle this diode d1 becomes reverse bias and it doesn't allow the flow of current from source to load right so you can see here this is input signal and this is output signal if i want to super impose output signal here you can see this is the output signal here right this is the output signal and this is the input signal right now i will show you i will show you you can see we have a peak voltage from 0 to 322 millivolt okay now i will show you the voltage across this diode okay so here then here so you can see this is the voltage across this diode okay the red color is the voltage across this diode so what happens during during positive half cycle this diode conducts so the voltage across this diode is only the forward voltage okay and during negative half cycle this diode doesn't conduct so you can see the whole peak voltage appears across the diode so that is why 
PIV peak inverse voltage needed for the diode. Peak inverse voltage is how much the repetitive voltage a diode can withstand during of time. Okay, hope you understand what is the PIV for a diode and how why it is so important parameter to understand, right? So this is you can see this is on time when diode is on the voltage across this diode is uh, forward voltage and when diode is off the the total negative peak appears across this diode okay so hope you understand what is the input voltage what is the output voltage what is output voltage rectified output voltage and what is the voltage across this diode now now i will run i will uh, so you can see here here we have at output is peak voltage we don't have any dc voltage okay so to make it dc you have to add you have to add filter right you have to add a filter that means you have to add a cap here okay so let me add a cap here then i will show you the waveform okay so let us say the cap value is 100 microfarad and the voltage rating for this capacitor is 400 volt right so now let me run simulation again and show you so this is input voltage and now the output voltage is this okay so here you can see you are getting a dc voltage but having some ripples okay that is based on your load current okay so so this is the your input voltage and this is your output voltage with having the ripple if you want to measure how much ripple is so this is 319.6 and the lower side is lower side is uh, 269 so you can see here we have we have around 40 volt ripple okay 40 to 45 volt ripple voltage ripple okay so this is the output voltage and this is the input voltage okay so so thanks for watching this video if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section